Well, tonight we're digging deeper into a story we first told you about last night in an exclusive report. It involves dozens of drivers left stranded after their cars were towed from a Dunkin Donuts parking lot while they went to the Donald Trump rally at Bojangles Coliseum. Now, we've been doing some digging into the towing company at the center of the story and found out the North Carolina Department of Revenue suspended its business license. But the company, which is called Gotcha Towing, continues to operate. Well, WBTV's Ron Lee first broke this story. He's live for us now where the whole controversy began. And Ron, I know a lot of folks were out there and they knew there was trouble the moment they showed back up to try to get in their cars, didn't they? Yeah, that's exactly right. Word got around very quickly about this towing company possibly working with a suspended business license. And a lot of folks out here were wondering, is that even legal for them to do so? Many people that I talked to out here say, this one may be going to court. They don't care here. They, they will tow your car. They will tow it and they with no remorse. Kawana Ekwaban was one of the lucky ones. He was at a local restaurant across the street from where the dozens of people had their cars towed during the Trump rally Wednesday night. He says this wasn't the first time something like this has happened. So I go to this bar all the time, okay? I get to see people get their cars towed on Tuesdays all the time. Drivers returning from the rally were greeted with empty parking spaces where their cars used to be. So now we come back and all of our cars are towed. Many we talked to claim the employees gave them the green light to leave their cars there while they attended the rally. They said we could park. The managers inside promised them that we could park here. We talked to the on-duty manager this morning and they said, I told several people they cannot park here. We have a towing enforced sign. That's my statement. Everything's gone. Everybody's cars are gone. Our, my car is gone. As frustration mounted, police were called in, but the only thing officials could do was to drive people to the towing company to pay their fines and pull out their cars. The tow company is saying that it's about $380 cash. But most reluctantly did what they had to do to get home. There were questions from the crowd about Gotcha Towing's license being suspended. We did some digging and came across these documents from the North Carolina Department of Revenue stating that the company's business license has been suspended for failing to pay their taxes. The notification reads, any act performed or attempted to be performed while the entity is suspended is invalid and has no effect until the entity is reinstated by the Department of Revenue. We also found a statute that suggests the signage was improper. I tried calling Gotcha Towing about what happened. An employee there told me we got called in to remove those vehicles that wasn't permitted to park there. That wasn't free parking. He then abruptly hung up before answering questions about the suspended business license. They will get their car towed. If they park here after hours here, they'll get their car towed. Now, we did check in with Charlotte Mecklenburg Police, and they basically told us there was not a whole lot they could do because this was simply a civil matter. We will stay on this story, let you know the twists and turns and how this all shakes out, and we will let you know what happened. For now, I'm Ron Lee, WBTV, on your side. All right, Ron, I know a lot of frustrated people out there.